All right, guys, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. Welcome back. Okay, uh, we are about ready to go into the trader. I'm just looking around because there's all kinds of enemies surrounding us. And I just want to make sure we can get in there without anything rushing us. So it looks like we did it. Okay, we are finally safe for the moment. Finally safe for the moment. So let's go inside first. And um, does this work? It does. That is fantastic. Okay, so we have a working forge here, which we can use to kind of get us started. Um, let's... here, let's talk to this guy first. Distance. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, I want to sell you these. Boy, do I want to sell those? I mean, that's some pretty nice armor. Maybe I'm going to keep those. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to hang on to those for now. Okay. So, in that case, let's sell him the cash. We should really keep these because we can use this with the AK and we can use those with the shotgun. So I'm not really doing a very good job of selling stuff, am I? Uh, all right. Well, yeah, I don't really want to get rid of anything else right now. Um, okay. You know what? We don't need this because we have a working forge here, so we can sell that. And I think I want to hang on to everything else. All right, let's take a quick look and see what his inventory is. He restocks on day four, and it's day three right now, so. Um, needle and thread, leather dusters. Okay, that would, oh man, that is way more money than we can afford right now. Like the loot of volume seven, find more medical supplies and loot. Got a marksman rifle, four by four truck accessories. Okay, let's look in the normal inventory here. Um, it would be nice to get a mining helmet, but not at that price. Oh, man. Uh-uh. Not gonna do it. He's got chili dogs. Got some ammo. Concrete. Jump grass. He's got a yellow pistol. Pretty expensive, though. Hmm. <gasps> That'd be nice to have, too. Jeez. Excuse me, it's time for me to go to bed after this episode. <laughs> okay, he doesn't really have anything. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. He doesn't really have anything right now that we need. What? It, how about quests? Let's see your inventory. Uh, no, oh, not, not your something inventory. something else? I want to see your jobs. Okay, now buried supplies. Buried supplies are actually quite dangerous uh, in the early game on... Uh, insane nightmare because of the fact that you know it spawns those zombies in and they can run at you at nightmare speed so that's super risky to do if you know if we don't have any kind of a vehicle like a bicycle or a motor a mini bike to get away a fetch might be more reasonable because we could potentially sneak in and grab it without having to fight everything I'll take care of you okay so we have uh eight lock picks Let's go ahead and see if we can cheese this open. All right. Look at that. Oh, nice. A green hunting rifle. I will take that. That is a nice, nice little prize there. Okay, cool. Um, so, we have, two, uh, we have two munitions crates to loot. And let's see. We got a duffel bag here and a few other things. Just got a can in there. Here's a box. Nice. 23 9 mils. I'll take those. Okay. Trader Hughes setting us up pretty good. So let's go. We'll go down below in a minute. I want to go over here and see if the, the workbench works. Oh, it does. Nice. We've got a working forge and a working workbench. Trader Hughes being good to us, man. He is really being good to us. Um, okay, so... Oh, we can't pick that up. So there's a munitions crate in that tower. Let's go check that next. It's really foggy out. 
Okay, come on, AK. Give me an AK. Give me an AK. We need an AK. All right. Nope. But well, we got more 7.62s for our brand new freaking awesome hunting rifle. Uh, okay, so let's go down here. We got a couple of things to loot here. Now, does this work? It doesn't. Does it got the schematic? It doesn't. We will take the stones. Um, that has no sell price. Yeah, let's just leave that in there now. We might actually make use of that later. Okay, we have a box here. With moldy bread... Okay, let's go up into the tower here. Uh, I think we have to go up this way. Let me go out here. And then in here. And there is the second munitions crate. Okay, come on, AK. I'll take a shoddy, too. Not asking for much. <laughs> oh, dang it. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, we got more ammo. I mean, hell, we've got uh, 138 rounds for our pistol and 70 for the rifle, so that's not too bad. And we've got ourselves some military gloves. That gives us a 10% noise increase, huh? Uh, what are we wearing right now? We are wearing these. A light armor rating of 7 this is a light armor rating of 10. But we could put... Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that extra 10% noise. I really don't. Not at this point. Not at this stage. So, we might hang on to those, though. Of course, we... Well, yeah, because we can't really sell them for shit. Might as well hang on to them. Okay, well, we've got a decent supply of ammo. So, we can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? No. Alright. The last thing we want to check is down in his um, underground area. And there is a Kim bench down here. And if it works, that would be fan freaking tastic Come on, get up the stairs. I'm stuck. There. More 762s. Okay, we'll take them. And it works! <laughs> right on! Oh, that's very fortunate. Okay, so we have a working forge, a working chem bench, and a working workbench all here at our new friend Hugh the Trader. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, we're just going to sell that stuff. And then there's one more box up here. And we got more nines. Okay, and that just opens up uh, next to his safe up above there. Okay, good. So that was, uh, that worked out quite well. Very happy about that. Can we pick these? Nope, doesn't look like it. We need, we have to hit them and we can't break them because we're at the trader, so. Okay, cool. And here's a vending machine with some coffee in it and stuff. Let's go back here. Are you okay there? All right, I'm gonna sell this to him. Will he buy this? Nope. Okay, I don't want it either. Let's just... No, I guess he doesn't want the gasoline. We'll sell the armor parts. Um, We might want to actually keep the Molotovs and the pipe bombs for now. So I guess that's about it. There's not really anything else I want to sell him right now. Nice that we found that, though, for sure. Time to move on. Okay, if you say so. All right, guys, so our next order of business here is we have to find out where we ourselves are going to live. We are quite encumbered, too. So I think what we're going to do is go set a... Let's go this way. No, we're going to put a chest down by our bedroll over here.
I guess that is a spike, isn't it? I was going to try and bail over the off the side, but... Ow! Alright, uh... No, that's a... <laughs> that's a pretty long drop that way. Okay, well, let's go back here. And just see if we can sneak out the front door. Okay, there's a Larry there. You know, we could kill him through the logs. It might take a couple hundred hits, but we could do it. Get a little XP out of it. Plus, there's two of them out there anyway. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Hey, dummies, over here. Make some noise. Really? He can't hear me? Oh, man, we got that fucking... Uh... Grim Reaper, too, so... Shit. We didn't even get to the second level before we got plagued by that damn thing. There we go. Come over here, dickweed. Alright, is he gonna stay on that side? Kinda seems that way. Let's go around this way. We should probably uh, put this on our toolbar. Uh, let's put it... I guess we'll put it right here. Pretty decent hunting rifle for this point in the game for us. Not bad at all. The rain is terrible. Fortunately, it's 42 degrees ambient out. Okay, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need that. Um, we don't need those right now, we don't need those. I think I'll keep the beer in there. Okay, so that frees us up a few slots. I'd like to keep these with us in case we actually need to use them. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. Because, you know, the goal right now is not to loot, it's to find a place to live. Okay, so let's head back uh, into the town here. Just keep our eyes peeled for cougars and larrys and all kinds of other nasty stuff that wants to eat us. Let's get that out and warm up a bit. Man, I'll tell you what, it's so... It's such a chore you know, to, to level in this game. And so, you know, when you die and you get that Grim Reaper, near-death experience or whatever the hell they call it, that really hurts. <laughs> and yeah, I could, you know, I could boost the XP gain or I could disable that, but I'd rather, you know, I'd rather play the game 
with the normal settings in that regard and just complain about it instead. <laughs> So do we want to live in a barn? That is the question. It's the closest POI uh, to the trader. Where is our, our mission, by the way? It's way over that way. Or, I mean, you know, we could go back down into this town and find a place. But, I don't know. I really do want to be close to that trader. So we could live in the loft of the barn. The only problem with that, though, is, you know, we're gonna get we're gonna get repops, especially if we continue using you know land claim blocks to block doorways and you know build our little tower thingamadoodle, which we are gonna do. So I really, it almost makes me wonder if we shouldn't just build our own place. So we don't have to worry about that. But if we do that, where what are we gonna do? We could build we could build a cave and live in a cave. You know, tunnel into the side of the the hill there. Maybe not for the whole entire playthrough, but as a starter base, that might not be a bad idea, actually. That might not be a bad idea. So let's go up back behind the trader here. It is so cold. 10 degrees out right now. And we're wet. <laughs> not a good combination. Not in this game and not in real life. I haven't actually done an underground base in a long time in this game. Whoops. We did the underground horde base. But not, you know, an actual base base to live in. So we could burrow right into that little hill right there. And make ourselves a hobbit hole. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so let me get, uh, let's get the shovel on our toolbar. Um, we are one point down on health. So let's make a bandage. No, just one bandage for now. We're doing fine on our, on our stamina and our hydration at the moment, so I'm not going to, um, eat a, another bacon and eggs quite yet. We're just freaking cold, man. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dig into this mountainside. Alright, we found a lead deposit. Um, so basically I'm just trying to get far enough into where I'm underneath where the, the ground is the highest there. That way if something does try and dig down to us from up above, um, they have a long ways to go. Uh, so it looks like we need to go just a little bit further in, but having um, you know, a lead pocket here it's good because we'll get more XP for one thing. Um, and we'll get some lead that we can smelt into the forge. But it also means that, um, you know, we might have some gravel and stuff too, which will make it a little bit easier to clear out the chamber that we want to stay in. Hopefully that doesn't go up too terribly high, though, is, is the downside to that, though. 
let's go ahead and put another torch in too. Uh, how about we put it right there? We finally leveled, and uh, because we still have more digging to do, I think it makes the most sense for us to put this point into 69er. Plus, we can make iron tools now as well. So, that means we should probably <clears throat> see what time is it? It's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we should probably go back out and get, go to the trader and see if we can um, get some iron going, but we don't really have any iron is the thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe we, maybe I won't do that right now. Maybe I'll just keep, keep digging a little bit longer. Um, you know, we could, we could run into some iron too, uh, in this lead vein, because a lot of times uh, in Alpha 18, when you find one type, you'll find uh, others too. But uh, with 69er, uh, we'll be able to uh, bore into the ground a little bit quicker. So what does that give us? 10% uh, uh, increased tool damage by 10% and block damage by 30%. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to do this just a little bit faster now. But um, yeah, until I can get enough iron to make the make the tools that we need, a pick in particular, I think it takes like 25 iron ingots for that, plus other stuff. Um, we might be further ahead just to keep going here. So we're pretty close to being underneath the the high part there. Maybe maybe I'll go a couple more blocks this way, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to burrow out a chamber. Um, to the north. Ah, oh, shit, we just got dysentery. <laughs> of course we did. <sighs> okay. Nothing I can do about it. I have no way to, to cure that right now, unless the, unless the trader has, um, goldenrod in the vending machine, which he might, I suppose. I don't know. I don't really want to go back out there until we get a bedroll down, though. So we're just going to have to deal with it. It's going to suck, but whatever. At this point, uh, we are going to turn and start burrowing out a chamber uh, to the north here. And for starters, I'm just going to make it large enough to put a bag, a sleeping bag, a campfire, um, and a couple of chests. Um... And we'll, you know, we'll enlarge it as time goes on and probably even eventually line it with concrete and, and stuff. Maybe start with cobble and then upgrade it to concrete later, which is a great way to get a lot of XP in Alpha 18. All right, guys, I am back. It is actually the next day in real life for me. <laughs> the next morning. I was up really late last night uh, digging out this tunnel and I couldn't stay awake anymore, so I went to sleep and... Uh, finished it out this morning so anyway uh this is our chamber this is a five by five chamber so i think it's a good uh start for us and so we got a bed roll down i've got uh, four uh, chests up so this one's going to be for food and medical uh this is going to be for resources building materials that sort of thing this is going to be uh, weapons and ammo and this will be clothing and uh, armor and parts and that sort of thing Okay, so we got uh, our basic organization going there. I got tons and tons and tons of stone, as you can imagine, from all the digging that we did, and that that took um, that took a long time. <laughs> probably that probably I don't know. I didn't actually time it, but I was probably at it for an hour and a half in real life, and like over a half of in-game day. I, I realized something when I set up my cooking pot. I mean, when I set up my campfire, and, and some of you guys, you know, may have already mentioned this in the comments in, in the earlier video, um, but I forgot to bring the damn cooking pot with us. It's like, oh my God, we brought the grill, but we didn't bring the cooking pot. So that was stupid. Um, but it is what it is. We'll have to just, you know, deal with it. And the other thing too is I thought I had, I thought I had some meat with me, but I guess I don't. I don't know what the hell I did with it all. Um... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think we just left it all at the at the first base um, because I had so much bacon and eggs at that point in time. But as you can see, I don't have any more bacon and eggs. I used the last of it 
you know, to get my health and stamina and all that back up because, you know, we burned through all of that from all the digging that we did. So we're going to have to do some hunting and we're going to have to find another cooking pot because at this point in time, um, there's no way I'm going all the way back to, uh, you know, to our first place, which is over in here somewhere to get that. Why is that all bright? Do I have my... No, my gamma's on the default setting. Hmm, that's weird. I've noticed, though, that the lighting can be a little bit odd here, uh, you know, in the in the tunnel. But, yeah, that is, like, super washed out. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, uh, so the goal for today is to, um, to do this quest, the retrieve the supplies quest, and find a cooking pot and do a little bit of hunting. So that's what we're, what we're going to do. I'm going to... I think I'm going to keep... Um, this in here. I don't think we need to take that with us. We've got 50 arrows, so I'm leaving the other feathers behind, but I'm sure we're going to pick some more up as we go along. And so this is the inventory that we're going to have. I'd like to actually make um, a few flagstone blocks that we can use, you know, to make... Um, how many can we make in total? 43. Now, we don't need that many. Let's make... I don't know. Let's make maybe 10. And what we can do is we can use those to kind of set up little uh, tower stations along the way. Um, to fight the zombies because I'm kind of getting tired now of sneaking around and trying to avoid. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to start taking the fight to the Zeekers, but the only way we're going to be able to do that effectively and in relative safety uh, this early in the game is we're going to have to um, use our little our little cheese towers uh, to make that work. All right, so we'll keep the spear, the hunting rifle. Here, let's switch those two around. Uh, the hunting rifle and the pistol there. We'll use um, the spear, <clears throat> excuse me, as needed. Uh, but I'm going to keep the axe down here, too, because, you know, we use that a lot. Oh, that's the other thing, too. I'm, like, out of wood. Um, like, completely out of wood. So, yeah, we're going to have to get some wood, too. All right, guys. Well, let me show you um, what I've done here at the entrance, too. And then we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Uh, I'm probably going to dig um, a pitfall halfway through this tunnel, too, um, with maybe some spikes and stuff down inside, uh, but I'm not going to do that right at the moment. Uh, but what I have done is I've set up my my uh, auto turret, which, by the way, we need some iron to make more ammo because I don't have very much, very much ammo in there. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, man. We could have we could have killed the deer right there, <laughs> but he didn't stick around. All right. Well, anyway, uh, as you can see, I've got the auto turret uh, set down there, and then a land claim block uh, right about where the stone starts in this tunnel. The idea being that you know if we get aggroed by Zeke or they come in here, they can't get to us. We ba bang on their head whilst our um, turret hits them from behind. So that's kind of kind of be our our method of, you know, uh, protecting this place until, you know, we can we can do something a little bit more elaborate. The thing, though, that we have to sort of be careful of is that we want to make sure that the AI still thinks that there's a path to get in here, because if this is completely blocked and they detect us from up above, they could start digging down, and that's what we don't want to have happen. So I think in most cases, they, they probably would still try and come after us, even with this, you know, here blocking it. Okay, well, let's, um, what what, what time is it? Five. Yeah, guys, I think it's I think it's this is probably a good place for us to go ahead and in the, in the episode because there's just not enough time to do anything more um, right now. So I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here, uh, but I'm going to pick up right in this same exact spot in the next episode and we will go out, uh, try and do that quest, find a cooking pot, do some hunting. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.